dark and gray and gloomy day over here in the beautiful sunshine state known as Florida. Usually it is beautiful, but you know, Florida, it's a very bipolar state. So it is very sunshine. And then sometimes it's very not so sunshine, but you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some more witch on the holy night. What is going on? You guys, it's your boy white album here. Like I just said, dark and gloomy and uh man he put me in the mood to uh, to play some witch on the holy night so let's not let up let's get into it let's go let's do it man let's do it plus i gotta kind of hurry up and get more of uh gameplay of this uh before he may drops and i still have like an entire other side story to do so here we go okay let's load up all right all i know is last time uh Alice, there you go, I forgot her name. Alice made uh, the homegirl Riddle laugh and Riddle died. So, oh, hold on real quick. Let me see if I can turn that down just a bit. I'm not too dark. Perfect. There we go. That way my own like light's not destroying my retinas, but you can still see me clearly. So here we go. I got another sip of water. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. All right, here we go. That made four victims. Everyone seemed to resign to looking or to locking ourselves in our rooms for the night. Okay, I just read. Okay, we're, all right, hold on. We're now in um, Kumari's uh, POV. I. Decision N. I agree. Or sounds dangerous. Uh, I agree because after what Alice just did, uh, we we don't want anything to slip up and you know because no we explode. So here we go. I agreed that it was best the best option we had. We won't gain anything from grilling each other. Let's just make a decision. Raise your hand if you think we should stay in our rooms until morning. I raised my hand. In favor were Aozaki, Sister Yuka, Suzuki, and Bayo. Who voted along with Suzuki? Those against were Ritsuka, Father Eri, Tsukiji, and Miss Kuonji. Ooh, okay. Alice is like, nah, this is my house, my rules. <laughs> with Bayo as the tiebreaker, our side won. Well, that settles it. Everyone go to your rooms, lock them, and don't leave until morning. Sorry to clear my throat there. If you need anything, get it from the kitchen now. If you need to use the toilet, hold it. Everyone had to be exhausted from such a long night of deduction. We barely spoke as we headed off to our respective rooms. I locked the door and laid on the bed, or laid down on the bed. Just in case, I decided not to change into my pajamas. The day was almost over. Once midnight passed, the first day of our three-day break, three break would come to a close. I never imagined spending vacation like this in a million years. Ugh. Oh, crap. Get in... Getting sleepy. My eyelids grew heavy the instant I lay down. I know I still had things to consider, but warm slumber embraced me in moments. I was rused by the sound of the wind. The lights were out. I didn't remember turning them off before I went to sleep. I got up and tried a light switch, but nothing happened. I wanted to check the time, but that wasn't happening in this darkness. I tried my best to go back to sleep and pretended everything was okay, but I was too on edge. I could barely even stay still. Aozaki's mm. room is the closest, right? I moved as quietly as possible to the door, unlocked it, and peeked into the hallway. It seemed empty. The only sound came from the wind and rain. As if led by something, I ventured, to, I ventured into the hallway and towards Ozaki's room. I placed my hand on her doorknob. It was unlocked. 
Inside a room, I found a dead body. The corpse of a woman I've never seen before. <laughs> Did I scream? Did I manage to hold it in? I couldn't tell. The rain tonight was too intense. Okay, first of all, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was just me or it was the game, but I heard thunder. <laughs> so I don't know if that was the game or that was outside, like IRL outside. Ooh, I think it was a perfect time to play this game, don't you think? Creek, creek. Oh, that wasn't the rain. It was the sound of hinges. I realized the door was swinging and I looked in its direction. It was coming from the next room to Ozaki's. Suzuki told me before that it was her study. Something was on the door. A red, thick, or a, oh, hold on, a liquid, thick and red, like paint. Inside the study, I found the gruesome sight of Alko Alzaki. All right, looks like looks like homegirl Alko got got caught up in the in the laugh. <laughs> How brutal was her death? I ran down the hallway. I didn't care about making any noise anymore. The storm was too loud to hear anything. I threw open the door to each guest room. In the third room, I found the lifeless body of a boy who'd been on my mind for three years. Oh no, Tsukiji. <laughs> Panting, I nearly rolled down the stairs. Too fast, I fell. My body bounced off the steps and rolled into the foyer. Nobody was around. The front door was wide open, as if we had a visitor. My six told me that the church members were already... I heard faint footsteps. The sound of the storm faded. All the sounds around me washed away. In front of me. I felt nothing. No fear. No anger. Okay, the thunder was definitely outside. Okay, it's definitely outside. And you know what that means? That means my dog is going to start acting like a complete fool in a second. Once he realizes what that noise is. When he realize, realizes what that noise is. My heart was as calm as a lake as I laid eyes on the stormy night killer. Two eyes flash in the darkness. I was like, Sojiro? The mustache? Light glinted off the weapons in their hands. Oh, so does Sojiro. <laughs> it looks like Sojiro. Their face was unworldly, twisted, demonic. It was the last thing I ever saw. Oh, we got a bad ending? Okay. Yeah, okay, we got a bad ending. That was pretty cool. I didn't get the trophy for that, but who knows? Oh, I wonder how... Oh, man, hold on. Let me check something real quick, you guys. Looks like there's multiple bad endings here. So we got one of them. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like, uh, well, you know what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to skip a good majority of this to where we last left off. Actually, no, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Look, I just, <laughs> just realized that I had, uh, forgot I could just go back to my, my save state. All right, here we go. Perfect. Wow, look at that. Okay, so now we got that ending. We got a bad ending. There. It looks like it looked like Sojiro too. I don't know. It, it kind of looked like Sojiro. So here we go. This time we're gonna pick the uh, damn. How many bad endings are there? If that was just one, that's crazy. Okay, I wonder if each decision has like a bad ending tied to it. At least one of them, at least. Damn that. That means uh, going for this bad ending trophy is gonna be a lot longer than I thought it would be. That's fine. That's fine. But here we go. That made the last four victims. Everyone seemed resigned to lock themselves in our rooms for the night. I, this time, we're going to do with... Sounds dangerous. Also, first of all, okay, so... We go to sleep. Then we go to check Alzaki. Aoko's dead. We don't know how she got killed. Or how what, what, what her death scene was when she laughed. Obviously, Tsukiji, he got it. Apparently, I guess the church members got it. But that would still leave Alice and... 
Suzuki and Bayo. So what happened to those three? Does, I mean, we kind of, I think I kind of deduced that Suzuki looked like he was the, the killer. So here we go. Sounds dangerous. I think it's too dangerous to hold up in our rooms. The reason being. Ooh, okay. Here's another decision. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, we know one, we know the top decision was a bad ending. So what, what about this one? Because it was a 13th person. We're going to go with that one. I thought it was best to tackle the problem now. Okay, everyone, to your... Wait, before that, I want to check something. Does everybody know how many guests are here today? Thirteen. Including Kuonji. What about it? Does that include Riddle? What? what? Tsukiji's eyes went wide. He was acquainted with Riddell, so her being here hadn't fell out of place to him. But to someone like it, but to someone like me who didn't know her, she stuck out like a sore thumb. She had crashed the party without a formal invitation. So, Hmm. Now that you mention it, Riddell wasn't actually invited, so I suppose there's only 12 of us. Do you mind explaining, Miss Kuonji? I didn't realize it either. Aoko and Suzuki were in charge of sending out invitations. No one told me they only sent out nine invitations. Toki and I are the hosts, so including Aoko and Suzuki, that should have made that should have been thirteen. Oh, and I should mention, I probably just, I personally sent out invitations to Ritsuka and Bayo. They forgot to put the space between Ritsuka and. And the word and. <laughs> they did the same thing here with Eri. <laughs> I invited Eri, Yuka, Kinomi, and Tobimaru. <laughs> Hold on, do you see the the portrait? They put like the like the funeral portrait, like you know in Japan. Uh, when they do like the funeral portraits of a person, that's what they just freaking know me. That's crazy. No way. I invited Kumari. I invited Kumari. God damn. Okay. Whoever was doing this completely missed all the spaces, dude. I invited Kumari. I gave the leftover invitation to Mr. Yamashiro and... Someone I really, really shouldn't mention out loud. So the numbers add up then. Sojuro, tell me who you invited before I yell at you. I'm pretty sure I know already, but tell me, who you sent the last invitation to? Yeah, uh, I, uh, I, I mean, it's not good to let people out, so. <laughs> Toko? You're the one who invited Toko? Ozaki grabbed Suzuki by his collar and shook him violently, like a bobblehead. Uh, oh. Two Riddells. Hmm. So you invited Toko, but I thought she couldn't step foot inside Masaki anymore. Hmm. If you invite Toko, you can step foot inside Masaki anymore. 
肉体にかかった呪いが解けないならその肉体を使わなければいいとかなんとかうん Miss Toko says she beat that curse a long time ago mentioned about thinking outside the box if my body's curse I'll just use a new one or something like that どんな理屈よそれ相変わらずネジ飛んでるわね姉貴 What kind of logic is that? Ugh. My sister's, old, my sister's crazy as always. Tomokaku. Toko san ni shoutai jo ga okurare te shimatta i jo. Kanojo ga koko ni kite iru kano sen ga aru no ne. Well, at any rate, if she was invited, she could be here. So. So ko de omoi dashte hoshi no ga. Denwa sen ga naku natte ta toki no genka. Right. And remember the entrance when the phone line was cut? あの時、玄関の床には水滴がついていた。There was a puddle on the floor. 私たちは雨が降り出してから、一度も外に出ていない。None of us have been outside since the rain started. だから事件の直前にやってきた、リデルの足跡かと思ってたけど、彼女、全く雨に濡れていなかった。I thought I hinted that r o d e l might have snuck in here ahead of time, but she wasn't wet at all. つまり、In other words, あの雨の後はリデルさん以外の何者かが洋館に入ってきたという証拠ということね。It's evidence that someone other than Rodell entered the mansion, right? あの時、玄関には時津さんと山城先生以外のみんながいたから。Everyone except Mr. Tokisu and Mr. Yamashiro were all there, was there at the time. 姿のない参加者。So. We have an unknown participant. A 13th guest, if you will. Yeah, because thir number 13 is like a bad number. I know here in the, in the States it is. I, is like that in Japan? I mean, it would make sense that this is what the, the 13. <laughs> Which is funny because, you know, a lot of floors here, or a lot of buildings here, like hotels and stuff, in the US in general. Some buildings、uh, actually don't have like a 13th floor because of that whole speculate or that、uh, stipulation. Is that the word? Speculation, stipulation? Of like, the, of like, oh, 13th floor is bad. Even though it's technically there, like physically, but like, you know, logically and spiritually, it's like, it, no, it, there's no 13th floor. It goes, like, it goes from 12 to 14, okay? There's no 13th floor. It's like, well, technically, it would, no, ne, eh, no. <laughs> you know? This changed everything. I never heard that Ozaki had an older sister, but now wasn't the time to ask about that. The tension in the air was enough to tell me that it was bad blood between her and the people here. Aozaki Toko is a person who 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 is a person. 何より私たち、特に青子さんに協力な殺意がある。今まで見えてこなかった動機の面でも、最有力候補ですね。How does Sojiro send out an invite if he doesn't know where she's at? I just realized that. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, he sent out an invitation, but how did she receive the invitation? I mean, okay, I know this, this, is, this is what it's set a year or two after the main story. And if I remember correctly, that's how long the curse was supposed to last. Maybe more, I think, or like 10 years or something like that. But even then, that means that Toka would have to be privately meeting Sojiro for him to actually know where she lives in order to actually send out the invite. I. Is, I don't know. That, that's just me. Maybe that's an actual plot hole that just kind of popped up here that just hit me, but um, who knows?、Uh, most of all, she's out to kill us, or rather, Alko specifically. That gives her as far, a far stronger motivation than any other suspect. That's it. If you're a person who's a person, you can't get out of the house. 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 Ah, so it's Toko that off this. <laughs> Indeed. If Toko is our killer, then locking ourselves in our rooms won't do much good. She could just force her way in. Toko-chan, I'll do it. 
Ooh. She would do that. Toko is a huge horror fan after all. Hmm. It'd be too bad if the genre shifted to horror, but let's worry about our safety first. Let's split up and search the mansion. We need to figure out if Toko is really here or not. Huh? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll uh, go check around or check the air around my room. Wait, are we splitting up? Okay. <laughs> I'll check the west wing and the basement just in case. Hold on. The rest of you should stay here for your own safety. With that, they left the drawing room uh, on, a man uh, on a mission. I'm not sure that was mansion. <laughs> Leaving me, Tsukiji, Suzuki, and Ritsuka behind. Time passed slowly. My eyelids began to feel heavy from anxiety and exhaustion. The clock struck midnight. Well, I guess I'll go brew up some tea. Sojiro, where do you keep it? There's a pot on the table in the sunroom. Should still be warm. Perfect. I'll go get it. He probably wanted to get his mind off uh, his mind off things. Zukichi so showed off towards the sunroom. Oh. oh. Another blackout. Damn it. Can't see a damn thing. There was a dazzling flash of light. Okay, so there's also thunder in the game. <laughs> Through the window in the sunroom, I could see lightning. I hope that was Kumari and not Tsukiji. Tsukiji-kun, <laughs> Tsukiji, get back now. Oh, it's Ritsuka. <laughs> what the hell was that? Someone was there. I guess Bayo just wandered off. You three, over here, head to the hall. Ritsuka grabbed my hand and pulled me into the pitch black drawing room, or from the pitch black, pitch black drawing room. I definitely saw the outline of a person against the lightning. Someone was outside, in the raging storm. It can only be the 13th guest, it was Bayo. He was just having a good time. I, I like that. I like Bayo's like, I, even if I die, I just come back, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you can't physically kill me. We fled into the hall. The wall lamps here appear to be on a separate wiring. So at least it wasn't completely dark. Kuma? What's going on? There was someone outside. I'll go take a look. Sojuro, Tobimaru. Look after Kojika. Jogging. Ozaki disappeared into the dark corridor connecting to the parlor. Father Eri and Sister Yuka came down from the stairs, and Miss Kuonji returned from the West Ring. They must have heard West Wing. They must have heard the commotion. Looks like the power's out again. Did something happen? We think we saw someone outside the sunroom. So we ran in here. Ozaki went to check on it. Ozaki returned as we explained the situation. Nothing out of the ordinary, for the moment. No broken windows in the sunroom, so I don't think anyone slipped inside. We also didn't see anything unusual. Toko doesn't seem to be inside the mansion, which means... 
外に人影を見たという件ですね館内に異常がないのならあとは屋敷の周りだけです That could have been her. If we didn't find anything inside, we might be creeping around the grounds. Wakari Mashta. Soto Shirabin Kimasho. All right. We should look outside then. Mother San Room no Atari Desne. Kiken Deskara, Shirabin Ikunoa, Watashto Shista Yuika, Soreto Aoko. Tanome Maska. Let's start around the Sun Room. It might be dangerous, so Sister Yuka and I will go. Aoko, would you mind coming with us? エイリシンプこの風では私はあまりお役に立てないかと耳が聞きません。Unfortunately, Father, I don't think I'll be much use in the wind. I won't be able to hear a thing. そうでしたね。あ、ah, You're right. しかし私はともかく、アオコを一人にするのは。I just didn't want Aoko to go alone. 気にしないで。私は一人で身を守れるから。Don't worry, I can defend myself. Not from what the bad ending showed us. <laughs> you did not, in fact, defend yourself. I'm more worried about you, to be honest. You're not armed. In that case, can I ask you, Sojuro? We seem to work well enough together. Sojuro nodded sullenly, nodded sullenly. I don't know. I. It's dangerous for Ozaki to go alone. It's best to wait for all three to return.、Uh, let's go with the. Let's go with. It's dangerous for Ozaki to go alone. I think it's too dangerous for Ozaki to leave alone. Wait, Aozaki, I'll go with you. What? What are you talking about, Kuma? It's too dangerous outside. What in the fort with Tobimaru? I'm not going to go to the fort. I'm not going to go to the fort. But if it's dangerous. I don't, want you,、uh, I don't want to let you go out there alone. I'm your friend. Ozaki couldn't refuse when I put it like that. I wanted to watch her back, of course, but I had another reason to. Ozaki was currently the most suspicious survivor. It wasn't a good idea to let her go alone, for multiple reasons. If she was the killer, or sweethearts, or whatever, then our lives were in danger. If I didn't go with her, then it would cast more doubt on her later. Anyone could see how dangerous it was outside. Of course, I would have liked to stay with Tsukiji, but petty feelings like that weren't more important than my friendship with Ozaki. Yo, she's a ride or die、okay. with Ozaki,、okay. bro. <laughs> she's a ride or die. Okay, I'll fuck with it. Okay, fine. Just promise you won't leave my side, no matter what. Just fucking puts handcuffs on her. <laughs> Does that work for you, Ari? ええ、実のところ、私もアオコに一人つけたかったのです。クマリさんなら適任でしょう。Yes. I wanted to send someone with you anyway. Miss Kumara would be a good, good as anyone. Father Ari seemed to be thinking along the same lines. He had a cool demeanor, but maybe he had a genuine concern, a concern for Ozaki. トビマル、ユイカさんとアリスをよろしくね。20 Tobimaru, look after Yuka and Alice. If we don't find anything in 20 minutes, we'll be back. Eri, so to me, the Tara, Migi de Gawakara, Guru to issue stick there. But I saw Hidari de Gawakara me take Kara. Eri, when we get outside, you head right, we'll go left. Ken made this. Ikimasu, Soju Roku. Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Sojuro. Nah, don't worry about me. Take care of Kumari. Kumari, Eda got on the Kurukamus in a car, Atamo, he cooks to Kundazo. Aozaki, a call you talking in Kagite, Sigina Koka, or Haki Sirkara. So not that a poros the Kumari, watch out for flying branches in this weather. 
Ozaki is weirdly effective at times like these, so just follow her lead. And what's that supposed to mean? I nodded to Suzuki and made my way outside with Ozaki. The storm was worse than I expected. I could barely keep my eyes open in this wind. Kojika, give me your hand. Alzaki extended her left hand toward me. I grabbed hold tightly. Her hand was so cold to send a shiver down my spine. As we rounded one side of the mansion, Alzaki stopped. Kuma, did you see that light? What light? I couldn't even open my eyes. Ozaki paused before speaking. Stick to the wall and head back to the entrance. The light had to be the killer. What? No way. I can't leave you out here alone. My words failed to reach her. Ozaki ran away from the mansion to the darkness of the woods. Back to the wall? I can't even get back to the mansion, you idiot! I screamed out in frustration. Somehow she heard me. What? Did you say something, Kuma? Azaki's voice came from the tree line. I said, I can't get back to the mansion by myself. Behind you. The mansion is directly behind you. What? <laughs> Just turn around and... I'm not laughing. Huh? She... She oh, crap. Did I actually just fall for that, Kuma? Ozaki's words hung in the air as her body suddenly flew to one side. As she... as... as... what? As... what? It was as if she was hit by a high-powered rifle. She lay lifelessly on the ground. I... I... I know she looked directly... she looked in my direction before she burst out laughing. Behind me. Footsteps. I could barely make them out in the rain. <gasps> I didn't have time to look uh, time to look back or think. I ran as fast as I could. I needed to get away from whatever was behind me. I sprinted into the deep, dark forest, away from the mansion. That's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> my chest burned with the exertion. I never pushed myself this hard, even during PE class. Wow, I was a pretty good runner. It was amazing what humans could do when they think we're about to die. My mind began to wander, trying to escape the reality of the situation, when... Huh? Suddenly, I felt like I was floating. My feet tickled wildly in the air. Huh? Did, did I read that correctly? Did it say tickled or flicked in the air? I don't know. Wait, what? I seemed to be falling backward. Every breath sent a painful spasm through my back. I reached for my, for my back, feeling like something was wrong. It touched something wet. I timidly look at my hand. As much as I hated to admit, to admit it, my hand was strawberry red. I licked it. Yep, tastes like iron. I I don't, I don't know. I feel like if you just saw blood in your hand, you'd be like that looks like blood. That's blood. I don't think you need to do the second part there. <laughs> I lost over a liter of blood and only kept flowing. I can't believe this. Horrifying reality stopped me from finishing my sentence. Something was coming this way. At this point, I didn't really care. Would I sleep forever or be captured by the killer? Either way, apparently, this is how my night would end. Oh, we did, we didn't, did we get another bad end? Oh, we got another bad end. We got two bad ends again. That's crazy. We got two bad ends. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to do it again. 
one with 30. Yeah, we could we could keep going. All right, here we go again. Okay, so we're just gonna skip all this. Sounds dangerous. Yep, bip, 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 bip. Okay, so we did that one. Okay, we're just gonna go with the same route we did. Okay, so we did that. Up, 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 up. Yep, skip all that shit. To just skip, just skip all that. The music playing. Okay, okay, okay. God, this hurts my eyes. Okay, here we go. It's dangerous for Ozaki to go alone, but this time we're gonna go with. It's best to wait for all three to return. I should wait outside. All right, what? I should wait inside the mansion for all three of them to return. So I'm gonna head out. If I don't find anything in 20 minutes, I'll be back. No. Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Sojuro. Suzuki usually kept his distance from Father Eri, but there was nothing unusual about tonight. He kept uh, he kept pace at the priest's side, his head on a swivel. Twenty minutes and she has not returned. I waited for what felt like an eternity. The power still wasn't back on. Looks like we're not gonna get the lights back on. The guest rooms run on a separate uh, what on a separate set of wiring. So let's hope they're still good. Not from what we saw. These room, uh, those rooms must have been added at a later date. As the older areas of the mansion, like the drawing room, hallways, and west wing, were pitch black. Pitch dark. Same thing. Wait. Where's Bayo? Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't see him anywhere. I'll go look for him. Everyone else stay here. Don't leave Yuka's side. Got it? Ritsuka. I'll be fine. Trust me. I'm used to dark nights like these. Ritsuka disappeared up the stairs to the second floor on the mansion. Of the mansion. I don't know why I struggled to read that. Okay, oh god, oh here we go. Another decision. Will this one lead us to a good ending, or will we have another bad end on our hands? Which is cool because I, I need these for the trophy. Decision Q. I. I don't see this ending well at all. Come to think of it, Bayo. Okay. Which one should I go with? Uh, I think let's go with, um, come to think of it, Bayo. Thinking about it. They're away for a while. So, like Aozaki, they could have murdered Mr. Tokisu and Yashi, uh, and Mr. Yamashiro, too. After a long 20 minutes, minutes, Aozaki returned. What, what, so she's not dead? Why the fuck did, why, what, what, okay. Okay, whatever. Game, whatever. Sure, whatever. She gets deleted in the in that first uh, what's it called, but in this one, she's like, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. She took off her raincoat and dried herself off with a towel. First of all, she wasn't wearing a raincoat. Keep that in mind. She probably was. I don't know. They, they, didn't, they didn't specify it, but she wasn't wearing a raincoat. Yeah, <laughs> Whew, that's some storm out there. The wind's like a brick wall. I'm surprised the trees are still upright. Then again, that's probably what the ploy's doing. I was likely explained that she patrolled a loop of the entire mansion, starting from the left side. She didn't find anything in front of the sunroom. Ah, okay, so in this version, Father Eri and Sojuro are the ones that got got. Not, uh, not Alko and Kumari. 
途中ですれ違わなかったのですか I was about to say, you just did a whole loop and you didn't run into them? So where are Father Aaron and Sojuro? You didn't run into them? 全然。外に出るとき、森の方が気になるとか言ってたけど。まさかあの二人、この嵐の中で森に入ったんじゃ。Nope. As soon as we got outside, they said they wanted to check out the forest. There's no way they went there in this storm. Is there? Ozaki and Sister Yuka exchanged concerned glances. Can we stop doing that to Yuka? She doesn't have it. She's blind. She can't give concerned glances. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, she probably does have facial, you know, expressions, but not enough to be like, oh, is she mad, sad, happy? We don't know. Because every time we see her, she doesn't have a fucking look on her face. And then. Oh, my dog's acting up. It's thundering outside, I'm telling you. He's acting foolish. Sojiro. Suzuki,、uh, Suzuki came back inside, looking sullen and dripping wet. Father Ari wasn't with him. Sumanai. Meo Hanasta Skinny. Ari Shimpuga Suguku. Omosirai Kotoni. Okay, I'm still, I'm still like deducing the fact. I think it's Sojiro who's the killer. Because、um, in the first dead end that we got, uh, The silhouette looked exactly like Sojuro, except he was, he was like wearing like a funny mustache and like the big ass, like green goggles. Sorry. I looked away for a second. And then something very funny happened to Father. Suzuki was clearly downtrodden, but he made a bizarre choice of words. Suzuki san, Masaka, Eiri s h i n Music. <laughs> Mr. Suzuki, you mean Father Aries? Sounds that way. What on earth could take out someone like Father Eri? The foyer fell silent. Suzuki was biting his lips, clearly ashamed of losing track of the priest and falling for the killer's trap. First of all, why is everybody else that they, they died by laughing, but Kumari got like murdered, like legit murdered? <laughs> like, the whole point is like you're supposed to laugh, and that's how you die. Alzaki laughed, got deleted. Kinomi laughed, exploded. Riddell laughed twice, survived the first time by pure willpower alone, then got laughed again because of Alice. And then I'm assuming the same thing happened to Father Eri. He laughs. Same thing with Yamashiro and Tokisu. They laugh. But each time for fucking、uh, for Kumari, she's like legit murdered. I don't know what happened the first time. She, like, she just looked at the killer and was like,、oh, there's the weapon. And then the second time, she's like dead on the fucking forest floor, bleeding out to death. Like, what? What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get back on track here. The hell? Hmm. Sojuro, what are you holding? Looking closer, I can see something long and fluffy in his hand, about eight inches in length. I found it at the east wing, in front of the sunroom. Oh, it looks like, it got, it looks like they got Beowulf too. <laughs> He held up what looked like a golden dog plushie. There was a strange pattern on his forehead. The fifth victim. Wait, is that Beo? So he was the one we saw in, in front of the sunroom? Oh, well. Oh, I'm trying to fix your ear. I'm sorry, I was talking to my dog. Oh, now that you mention it, it did look like Beo. Wait, was he trying to ask for our help? If he was, what did that mean? Bayo saw the killer outside the sunroom, was made to laugh somehow, remember we were inside, and try to get our attention. Ritsuka was the one who warned us to stay away from Bayo. She said she was used to, to dark nights. Did she know that Silhouette was Bayo trying not to laugh? 
ベンは何か見つけたのかもね密かに一番頼りにしてたのに痛手だわベンは何か見つけたのかもね痛手だわベンは何か見つけたのかもね痛手だわベンは何か見つけたのかもね痛手だわベンは何か見つけたのかもね痛手だわベンは何か見つけたのかも何か動くものがあるって森に入っていってすぐに笑い声が聞こえてきた We thought we saw something moving and when we went to check I heard laughter その後落雷のような悲鳴と滝のような血が降ってきて見上げてみたら Then I heard this scream like thunder and there was a shower of blood and when I looked up I saw Everyone held their breath in anticipation. We all braced for the gruesome description of the priest's demise. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're, you're acting like a fool at the current moment. I'm trying to record. I'll get you in a second. Hold on. You saw. A bunch of ropes tied up like spider's webs between the trees. Oh, my man, a Spider Man? His body was at the center, all twisted. He was completely naked. It had a rose in his mouth. Was that Ritsuka? Huh? Instinctively, I turned to face the laughter behind me. Oh, it's Yoika. Uh, oops. She turned to stone. That's crazy. Hold on. A second, you guys. Come on, buddy. You're acting foolish. I know, I know, I know. You don't like the thunder. But here. You have to sit here while I, while I, while I play this, okay? Hey, now you get to see my dog. It happened all so quickly. Sister Yuka turned to stone as soon as she heard Suzuki's report. Yuka got petrified. Poor Yuka. She must have pictured what Suzuki was talking about. She and Father Eri were two of the sternest people I've ever met, and yet... Anyway, that's seven victims now. We're dropping like flies. Unfortunately for us, all the people who posed the greatest threat to the killer were gone. The clock approached 1 a.m. Unable to go to the drawing room, those of us left behind were stuck behind the foyer or stuck standing in the foyer. It was surprisingly dark in here. The guest rooms were probably better lit, and I considered going there. Might look weird going by myself, though. Was Ozaki's older sister, the 13th guest, really here? I couldn't go back to my room yet until that mystery was solved, at least. <laughs> For now, let's move Sister Yuka's statue to the corner. Huh? Damn, she, she's heavy. Very heavy. Tobimaru, help me out. Sure thing, I'll take the back. Oh, be careful where you put your hands there, Tobimaru. Careful where you put your hands there, Toby. <laughs> Better put, be careful where you put them hands, Toby. <laughs> you know, she's pretty cute. Hmm. No wonder so many low lives go to the church. They're gonna drop her, aren't they? Oh, never mind. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if they just dropped her. She's shattered. Even in this situation, Suzuki and Tsukiji were friendly. I couldn't believe how calm they both were. 
I felt like I was nearing a breaking point. If something jumped out at me, I died of shock before I died from laughter. Kuma, do you want some tea, Kuma? You look pale. Thanks, but I'm fine. The last thing I wanted was to have to use the toilet, and I was scared of venturing far from the mansion to find one. Well, seems like you're doing fine then. Just keep that spirit up until morning. Not too bad about Father Eri and Yuka, but, but in a way, I'm actually kind of relieved. Oh, buddy, you have to go down. I'm sorry. At least we're all good friends here, so we can trust each other. Damn, that's cold. It was just like, eh, well, they're gone, so who cares? It's us now. <laughs> we just need to find Toko. No need for that. The game's over. I'm impressed, Aoko. Ritsuka? The voice came from the stairs. Ritsuka returned from her search for Bayo. Huh? What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's it's about time you dropped the charade. Checkmate, Yoako-chan. Why do you think you're so close to this challenge? I don't know, but... Damn, she's already... Damn, she's already... Damn, she's already... Damn, she's already... She's already bringing the hammer down, okay. Checkmate, Alko. Or Akko. Just say her full name, that's such a dumb nickname that she gave her, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't gotten the faintest idea of how you... Uh, uh, why you went such lanes. But the physical evidence doesn't lie. It's not an open and shut case quite yet, but you're the most likely sweetheart suspect. I mean, in a way, that kind of does make sense, right? In the in that one in the second bad ending we got, she just laughed, got deleted, and then Kumari dies. But then in the second decision, she's like, she comes back like safe and sound. Meanwhile, Father Ariel was the one that gets uh, deleted. What? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way I'm sweethearts. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no way. Don't play dumb. While searching for Bayo, I went into your room and found irrefutable evidence. What? How did you get in my room? I thought I locked it. What are my few special skills? Lock picking. Yo, she's got lock picking 100? Hey, dumbass. Lock picking's illegal. I think a dead body that someone desperately tried to hide is totally against the rules. <laughs> Everybody's face. <laughs> Zaki was losing it. We all stared at her silently. Uh, yeah, no, I mean... Sojuro, where's Ozaki's room? East wing, second floor, end of the hall. We followed Ritsuka to Ozaki's bedroom. Our suspect tagged along, pouting and sulking. I'm going in. Oh shit, hold on. Just whacked my fucking microphone. I'm trying to fix my glasses. Come on now. Oh! Ritsuka opened the door. Do that while I adjust this shit. 
we move from the dark corridor to the equally dim bedroom. When I entered, I was greeted by the sight of a... Hey, <laughs> Toka. Homegirl got alcohol poisoning. And with a golden microphone, she was she was having a karaoke night. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> and the first time we actually see Toko, she's already dead. That's funny. A, beautiful, a woman beautiful enough to make me question my sexuality. She just has that effect on people. Clutching a, a microphone in one hand, creating a large bottle of liquor in the other, taking a satisfied eternal slumber, and the walls. What the fuck? We're plastered with bizarre posters. <laughs> Alcohol poisoning. This is the irrefutable evidence, Ako. I know you and Toko don't get along, but how could you leave her like this? Toko. Or how the fuck? How would you say it? it's just Toko? It's the same thing. Uh, you always said you liked prog rock, but really you just like Enka oldies. Even brought your own microphone. Yeah, my family's so embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to see this. Ozaki was squirming up a storm. However, this didn't change the fact that she concealed a victim. Okay, then does that mean in the first bad ending that we got, she saw Toko, and then she saw Aoko or Alko? That would make sense if Alko, if Toko's in Alko's main room, while she found Aoko in her, uh, in like her, um, her office, I guess I could, I forgot what the hell the room was called, uh, in like her like office space room. That would make sense. Okay, so. Toko's not the murderer here. Maybe it is Alko, who knows? Now that I think about it, you seem to be working really hard to make sure no one came near your room. It wouldn't look good if anyone found the body, right? What? No! That's not how it is. I'm the victim here. After lunch, I came here and my sister was dead. Who wouldn't hide that fact? Sorry, Ozaki, but it's too late for excuses. Why didn't you tell any? Uh, why didn't what, why didn't you tell everyone about this when we were discussing the thirteenth guest? だって、だって、あの時に切り出したもどうして黙っていたんだって追求されるじゃない？エイリとユイカさんからしてみれば、私を弾劾する絶好の機会だし。Because if I said something, if I said something, I would have been grilled about why I hadn't said anything yet. It would have been the perfect. Uh, it would have been the perfect opportunity for Ari and Yuka to accuse me. I figured if that was the case, then I just found the criminal myself. I don't buy it. You created the 13th guest narrative so you could operate behind the scenes. The fact of the matter is that Bayo, Eri, and you all went down while searching for Toko. That's why Eri was killed. 
That wasn't me. They self-destructed. Sorry, Ozaki. Kuonji said that Sweet's Hearts doesn't know it's the culprit. Until we expose its true form, we have to prioritize circumstantial evidence over motive. Right now, the only one who could easily have killed all the victims is you. Yeah, it pains me to admit it, but that's the deduction. Tsukiji and Ritsuka grabbed her arms. Suzuki casually held. <laughs> My man said, I'll, I'll help. Damn, they better, they better throw her over the brig. They're gonna make her walk the plank. I think I fucked up that first analogy, but. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Are they about to tickle her to death? That's crazy. You're just gonna kill me because you suspect me? Calm down. We're just putting you under quarantine. Lock up the suspect and wait for the police. And the madness, and that's how the mystery stories go. So, um, is there a room that locked on the outside somewhere, Ali? Damn, no hesitation. <laughs> oh, just a cellar. It's a pretty tiny room where you uh, you get what you get to via a narrow staircase. I fucking love when Alice does this face. It's so fucking funny to me. Like such a serious character, but then she's got like one of the more like I don't know how like explain it, but it's such a funny face. Alka could spend the night there. What is this? The South Pole? Don't tell me the guest house is an, an Arctic research station, Alice. Yeah, even if you're not sweet hearts, Ozaki, it's the safe it's safest if we lock you up. It provides us some final insurance. Think of it as taking one for the team. Uh, fine. I suppose you're right. I guess I opened myself up to pesky democracy. Yeah. We should have locked her from up to from the start. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on, Kuma. If Ozaki really was Sweet's Hearts, no one else would die from any sudden bouts of comedy. And if she wasn't, then he'd survive until the game was over. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a she. Who wouldn't protest, though, if they were labeled prime suspect? I thought Oppo would be the one handing down a verdict. One of us had to unluckily- what? Had to unluckily- un- what? One of us had to unlucky- unlucky- unluckily? I'm pretty sure they supposed to say unluckily. Uh, enough to take the fall or had to be unlucky enough there you go one, one of the two uh, words are missing either one word wasn't completely spot or one's missing just let me say this your, your opponent's smart the 13th person may not have a form don't let your guard down. Those were Ozaki. Uh, those were Ozaki's last words, and these will also be my last words. So we're gonna save right here, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We got two bad endings. I was sick. I was really sick. Uh, I was. I was. I because I know. Uh, I think. I think most of the options in this story have lead to a bad ending. So the fact that I got two of them was actually pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going, man. We're gonna keep going. See if I could get maybe a couple more of these uh, bad endings or just outright beat this entire story.
but damn, there we go, man. Father Airy and Sister Yuka and Bayo and Toko, who we finally get. It's crazy. Uh, are, are like are all down. You know, they're down for the count. But it's funny because you know, of course, Sojuro had to invite Toko, and then like, well, where the hell's where the hell's Toko? She was dead the whole time. <laughs> she was dead the whole time. And left her like probably like one of the most unsavory places she could be in, drunk, no heels, with a microphone in her hand. I I don't know. I don't know. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time.